is the facility of uh, programmatically accessing this uh, facility uh, in order to create applications that uh, better serve uh, some kind of need. So we have seen, for example, yesterday the example of GI that uh, really is interested in uh, creating its own application by exploiting the basic facility that we provide. So in order to make all this possible, what we do is that we use content which is provided by a large number of different providers and this content is a very different nature. So you understand that, so you can see from the picture how complex it is, that for us it's really important the problem of, the problem of interoperability different data sources and the problem of accessing these different data sources. And so this is uh, um, the situation now. Our infrastructure is an infrastructure for supporting scholarly communication. So we expect that it will evolve as uh, the requirements of uh, the scientific community evolve. So in particular, we have been discussing a lot during these days that there is an emerging requirement that uh, is coming is the, is the fact that uh, the form of uh, scientific communication is changing. So communication means that not only that uh, you disseminate something which is the result of your work, but also that uh, who receives this information is able to understand what it has received. So what is happening is that now in a science which is uh, more and more dominated by data, in order to understand the scientific result, uh, the paper, the text, is not enough. So there is a big movement that says that in order to better understand the scientific result, you need a lot of different complementary information about the context. And so there is, a, in the, the computer science world, there is a lot of, uh, there are a lot of initiatives for defining new models for these publications. And uh, these uh, have um, different names, so I personally believe that there will be different models because uh, different scientific communities, different needs. So there are, for example, uh, the Elsevier article of the future, which is one example of uh, structured publication that actually has different pieces to put together. There is a notion of, uh, for example, uh, an answer publication that has been discussed a lot in the context of open air, which is uh, the article uh, which is actually related to the data set uh, that has been used for producing the result. There is a notion of uh, that we can call the live articles, that is articles that have parts that can be generated and uh, recalculated each time, for example, to access the object, uh, the, the article, or uh, for example, uh, other form uh, like, for example, the one that are uh, uh, now promoted by my experiments, my experiment research object that actually trace all the workflow that has been used uh, for producing a certain result. So you understand that uh, in order to uh, create this you know, new object, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, different kinds of information that, that has to be uh, put together and combined. And uh, uh, creating this new kind of application requires to retrieve access in some cases to generate and also understand all this element. And what is more difficult is that often these different pieces are not uh, produced by the, same, by the same community of the author. They've been uh, generated in other context because now uh, more and more uh, science is multidisciplinary. So you can create an article and relate it to something that has been produced by another community. So this uh, um, actually create a lot of uh, um, problem related to uh, access interoperability of data. And this is uh, one of, so in order to address uh, this point, uh, we are already thinking, for example, to propose uh, in the context of RTA a, a proposal for uh, uh, a new working group uh, that uh, will try to address uh, which are the basic services that the infrastructure should provide uh, for facilitating the publishing uh, and in the, uh, at modest or no cost to the authors, because this is the focus of the infrastructure for this new kind of publications. 
So what we want to address in this working group is actually what are the basic facilities that an infrastructure should provide in order, for example, for an editor of a new journal uh, for this type of object to be able to uh, create this new publication or an application that supports the editing of this new kind of application with a, a minimized cost. So this is uh, one example of uh, the kind of working group that we could propose, uh, we are discussing to propose in the context of IPA. Uh, concerning uh, the, the contribution, other contribution that we, we can, we as a can give to uh, uh, let me say that in uh, RDA there are many, um, as you see, candidate working group related to technology. So we've been uh, um, implementing uh, the technology that is behind the open air since 2004. So in this period, uh, we have a lot of lessons learned. So we know, uh, so it is not only a theoretical uh, knowledge, we have also done it in practice. So we know uh, what it works, we know also what it doesn't work. <coughs> And so, in this sense, I think that the, the Open Air Consortium can really give an important input to RDA. And here I have listed a number of candidate working groups where I think that we can participate bringing which has been our students. So there are, for example, registry of our type, metadata framework, the notion of data as a service, all the different approaches to interoperability. And I've also mentioned one working group which was proposed by um, a person, Ian Foster, which is actually one of the father of the grid. But I think that this is very interesting. It's, uh, the title is uh, Overcoming the Fiction. And uh, the idea is that uh, what he's proposing is a working group that uh, um, want to find a mechanism for simplifying the um, uh, publication of uh, data in such a way that it becomes more easy for all the scientists to publish this uh, data as now we do with the Dropbox. So it must be something that is not uh, too complicated to do in, a, in such a way that this data can really be uh, published uh, in an easy way. And also, uh, we can uh, really contribute to terminology and concept because we have been discussing uh, this issue since many years. Uh, the 